Hey, beautiful people. My name is Kristen. Thank you for spending some time with me. I have started a new series called Coffee Chats. Just each day I will try when I get my cup of coffee to sit with you a minute and kind of share my thoughts, maybe a product or something that I've come across that week or just something I'm enjoying that has brought me joy and hopefully can pass that on. Um, I like to sit here by my window because I get a lot of natural light, although I did just get a little tripod ring light to kind of help with some of the shadows that were caused by that. Um, I've got some leftover party swag. We celebrated my oldest son's college graduation yesterday, so that was a lot of fun. And I do want to show you just a couple things this day. One, we're in Virginia, so it's still the south, but I'm from Texas in the the deep south, I guess. So I miss magnolia trees. And we have some magnolias and they're starting to bud and blossom here and they just smell so good. And so they're just one, I love magnolias and gardenias. I mean, are there better? I mean, the peonies are gorgeous, but they don't have the smells that the magnolias and the gardenias have, right? So if you have a favorite flower that you just really jazz on or get super excited when it's that time of year but i'm super super pleased that it is that time now here in virginia for the magnolias and i um you know i'm kind of envious of those of you in georgia and carolinas and those places florida and texas those places with magnolias all the time so um the other thing i kind of want to share is a wedding ring story so my husband and i got matching wedding bands for, we just got married last September and he when he gets anxious he spins and plays with his and he has actually managed to misplace it for a full day we did find it I found it but we got a little bit worried and he's a contractor so he works with his hands all the time and we are kind of worried that you know you could actually injure yourself having a solid ring like that so we went online about a month ago and ordered some latex ones and we decided on this company Groove. We researched a lot of them, um, but this one had gotten some good, I think it was on Shark Tank or something, I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to share it with you because it's it's actually a pretty cool deal. They're about $30 and um, they're just latex rubber. They're nice and thick and comfortable and I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell at all, but there's just a little perforation like in etching that's the word I'm looking for some etching on the inside that kind of helps it with the grip and comfort and um, it's nice and smooth so when I go on like mission trips or we go on the river or um, to the beach where we're in the ocean I'm gonna wear that one we got black and so he's gonna wear this most of the days and then just wear this on special occasions when we have our special dates or events or whatever. And then I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna wear my gold one most days, but then I will wear the latex one when I have special projects or maybe even when I go out and garden a lot because I really you know, always have to come back in and polish up my gold band, although that's not a huge issue. I really prefer the gold band and just the solid bands to the diamonds. And um, I'm on my third marriage, so the first two I had diamonds and the second one was obnoxiously expensive and I even got it insured because I did not feel comfortable wearing it. I just, it made me anxious to wear it and then it was catching on things and I don't mind that occasionally to wear a fancy sparkly fun ring. I wear some of those, but I, every single day it just wasn't quite my thing. This is totally me. I just feel very good and it feels very comfortable. I love the gold. I love gold at this point in my life and I'm just in my golden years now. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to share those. So if that was something that you were maybe thinking about or interested in, um, I actually haven't done any projects in this yet. I did wear it all day yesterday and felt like it was just as comfortable that it was the right fit. They do just come in whole sizes and then you can exchange if you need to go up or down. Um, I went down a quarter size. I'm a four and a quarter in my ring band and this is a four. Um, which I think is marvelous. So enjoy your day. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you again tomorrow. Monday morning. <laughs> I'm kind of in a 
good mood for no real good reason. I walked the dog, came back. Um, I used this Biore charcoal pore strip. I've never, I don't remember ever using these strips. I remember having blackheads and things like that a lot as a teenager, but I don't necessarily suffer from that now, but it came in like a Target box or I don't even remember now where I got this, but I decided to use it. I'm gonna do my sheet mask tomorrow, but it was okay. I mean, I don't know that I need it. I didn't really like how dry it leaves my skin, which is why I also want to do my sheet mask tomorrow. But I can see the benefits. I'm not going to buy them, but I can't really talk to. It wasn't a. It wasn't a horrible experience. <laughs> so if you use them or love them or whatever, you can add your own comments below. That's cool. I just thought I would share once in a while when I have some input like that. So it is my administration day get to do lots of accounting and things like that. But happy summer. It is officially now, all schools are out and they are starting, I'm starting to get word about them going back to some of their practices, a lot of things outside because they feel like that's safe with social distancing and the extra heat and all that kind of good stuff that the risk is low to start gathering. So. I know it'll be at least two more weeks before I'm given the clearance to do any meetings, but probably three or four weeks, but I'm starting to get excited. <laughs> so that's good news. All my June events have been canceled, but that doesn't mean that if it opens back up, I can't make some more fun things to do. So we will be doing some paperwork, my staff meeting, all that kind of good stuff on a Monday morning. I hope to do a little reading. It's going to be a good day. I hope it's a good day where you're at. You just take care. Oh, I need to put away my decorations. Oh, and there's the chocolate cake. That needs to go away. <laughs> I'll take it downstairs where the boys live and let them eat on it. So, happy Monday. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Ooh, real quick, I just realized I was wearing a graphic tee. And I'm always like, when I'm wearing, watching people wearing graphic tees, I always want to like try to read it. Um, so this says some like it hot and it's like like a little it's the sriracha bottle and you it's a sriracha bottle i love sriracha i love sriracha on my sriracha as the bottle says i just on potatoes on meat on um, pizza oh my gosh i love it on pizza um and of course all the oriental foods because that's what it's meant for right to put it in your pho and or pho and all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, I didn't want, when I realized I was doing that, I didn't want to like leave you hanging. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Happy Tuesday. I am still sweating from walking the dog. It is getting quite warm. We're still two weeks away from summer. So this is my first summer of dog ownership and needing to walk dogs. So I may be getting up even earlier to try to get those walks in before it gets too hot. She's always crossing the street to try to find the shade. So that can be dangerous. So today I get to go do some shopping. It's the first two, I love shopping on Tuesdays. I find that that's the best time to go to the store when there's good stocking and not in, as many crowds and so normally I have work shopping to do I'm always looking for some supplies or rewards the only thing at all that I need is that because I've been playing all these online games I need to find some five dollar gift cards that I can just pop in the mail for them to like you know subway or the local ice cream store some of those places that are open again and um, so I'll pick those up, but otherwise it's, I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and do my monthly Dollar Tree haul. So I'm excited about that. And I have my big grocery run. I've got quite an extensive list and out of just about everything at this point, including dog food and cat food and the, you know, the farm must eat. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I did film my rocks box yesterday and I think I'm gonna post it but I just realized when I got done, I just wasn't excited about it anymore. Like I realized that I've been doing it long enough now that I've been buying pieces every month. 
sometimes two pieces and I'm just I've got a lot of really nice new things and I enjoy wearing those and I'm wearing I'm wearing um, one of the bracelets if you watch my rocks box you probably remember this one but like I've been picking up these pieces right and so you can only wear so much and like enjoy it so I found like I was starting to get to the point of saturation where I wasn't as satisfied or as happy with the new things because I'm not done enjoying the ones I already have so I decided that there wasn't anything that kind of stood out to me in that particular box and I'm just gonna send it all back put my account on hold for three to six months whatever it feels like and then we'll see we'll take it from there we'll see if I need some more I can still get jewelry and wantable and stitch fix and those things so I'm gonna continue to do those boxes monthly or bi-monthly so uh, I am not deprived I am extremely <laughs> blessed and I'm happy to share it with those of you in YouTube land who like to follow me for that stuff and um, I'm just gonna enjoy my day get some chores and things like that done get the shopping done with the hand sanitizer and mask and all that kind of stuff but it is a joy that all these stores have opened up so super excited about that look forward to Dollar Tree hauls and some of the things that maybe if I find something real exciting at the grocery store I'll show you but I don't normally do my grocery stores y'all have an awesome day take care enjoy the changing seasons and all the goodness that is happening there I just realized I'm wearing another graphic tee I'm really into my graphic tees I probably have like 20 graphic tees um, this one I really love it says take the long way home so it's it's kind of a 70s throwback right and um, I don't know I just really I got it at Target for $14.99 I remember because there was a similar one at Nordstrom that I really loved and it was like $60 one of $60 t-shirts and I was like oh I'm gonna wait till that goes on sale but I really really love it and then I found this one at Target that was super similar for a fraction of the price so Target is a beautiful place to go look for graphic tees not that I need any more <laughs> I should maybe go through all my graphic tees pretty soon and now that it's summer and see where we're at maybe I'll do a video on that y'all have an awesome day good morning or whatever time of day happy Wednesday I've walked the dog and done a sheet mask and have my senior highs today I just had me and two girls um, last week and they're super sweet and it's super fun hanging out with them it is summer and technically we wouldn't be meeting like weekly normal we would actually be on mission trip right now <laughs> so we can't do that but there's still two or three that are willing to meet with me and just have some fun so we will see and um, I just have to make my list today because I'm in that weird in-between place for the next couple weeks where we're in phase two I'm not released to do anything till phase three and until I am I can't do anything <laughs> so I'll probably be doing a lot of reading I'll probably get at least seven maybe even as many as ten books read this month and that's okay I'm gonna read a couple for work even so sometimes life is just like that right and it'll balance out in the times that I won't get to as much so you just have to be flexible right so being flexible with our days gotten hot but I like that I like summer one of my let me show you the graphic tea of the day I did go through my graphic teas yesterday that was my I've been trying to do something like home cleaning organizing sorting that kind of thing each day just one little thing um, so it was my closet summer stuff yesterday I put even more I had saved a lot of the I put away all the heavy winter stuff but I put away even more things more things that were thicker long sleeves I just saved one or two for those chilly summer evenings which we don't get very many of at all and uh, made room for more of my summer stuff so 
today I've got on my Nordstrom rack, Sandy Toes Waterfalls, and, um, and I've got it on, I know you can't really see, this is not my try on thing, but I've got my camo, my camo um, skirt from my Trendson, which I love. I wear this skirt a lot. So it's awesome with a graphic tee. So this was my Nordstrom rack find. I really want to say it was like $15. It was such a deal. And um, I am a Nordstrom huge fan. I do have a trunk club on the way and I ordered a few more pieces off of Nordstrom that weren't put into my trunk that they couldn't get a hold of that I want to try so I can do that. But um, Nordstrom rack is a good way to go. So it's the Nordstrom stuff, but a better price but I mean things sell out and it's not always available but graphic tees are that's a good place to look for graphic tees I also adore Target and um, Kohl's I like Kohl's for graphic tees I'm in no shortage of graphic tees <laughs> I had a good time I did get rid of or pass on like four or five of them to put in my giveaway that were still no stains or anything like that they just am just not as fond of them and don't pull for them as much as the other one so I do need to be careful and only get ones that I love because I have enough that I will only pull the ones that I really love and who wants you don't want clothes just taking up space in your closet I mean you can't just go oh yeah this is fine I will get this because then the fine just I'll get this sits there and then you end up donating it <laughs> and that's that's not good stewardship of our time energy or money so that is that so I will go um, put on some makeup now that my sheet mask is dried off my face and absorbed and start making my list for the day and then probably do some reading and hang out with the farm as I call them my dog and cats they're very happy that I'm here and working from home although I honestly do look forward to the day when I can go into the office and see people and get inspired because that's what we do we inspire one another being around our co-workers so anyway have a blessed awesome day and I look forward to checking in with you tomorrow so happy Thursday I am getting ready to zoom with middle schoolers and then I will be doing a deep clean on my fish tank and taking my dog to the vet so I feel like it's kind of a pet kind of day <laughs> and you know I went into the office yesterday to take back a bunch of things that I had been working from home with but didn't need here anymore and tidy that all up and just kind of get ready because it's like that kind of thing like kind of like preparing for back to school or <laughs> back to some new normal but it's frustrating because I don't know what it is yet but we're gonna be good when it gets here and also I don't know if you remember my story way back when in January when I was being really good about going to the gym three times a week and um, running and I tried out a new yoga studio and then promptly it was dark I fell off a curb and really hurt my ankle I thought I'd broken it but I got x-rays and it wasn't broken and so I thought okay I just sprained it but it didn't get better and it didn't get better and it's been like five months now and it's still not great and I know from my research that and from the state of what it was that it could take up to a year just for a ligament strain or tear or pull or whatever and that's probably what it is it's right in the spot where a major ligament is so I had ordered a brace about I don't know somewhere in April thinking that this quarantine would be good to go ahead and put a boot on and see if that would help but it got lost in the mail and so I had put in a request for a refund but it came yesterday the box was completely beat up it was open but the boot was in it and it was fine so um, anyway hold on let me see I don't know if I can get it up. There we go. <laughs> so I've been wearing it since yesterday um, morning when the mail came and I'm gonna, I take it off to drive because it's my right foot. 
but I try to, you know, I don't just drive very much nowadays. I do have a couple birthday balloons I have to deliver today, so I, that's my only driving today. So I'll take it off to drive, take it off to shower, and take it off to sleep. But otherwise I've been wearing it, so I can no longer walk my dog. Because I just, I just can't, you cannot walk a 45 pound dog that walks you with a boot on. It's just not a safe thing, y'all. So the rest of my family is going to have to step it up. So poor Bell Dog, she's waiting for somebody to wake up or come home from work so that she can go out. And with the heat, I'm a little concerned it will need to be in the evenings because none of my folks are morning people. I'm the morning person. So yeah, if anybody's ever had experience with wearing a boot and has any tips, or if I'm crazy and I should just give this up and not do it because it is a lot of extra work, let me know that too. I'm open to suggestions, but I just figured, you know, I still have at least two to three weeks that I'm not gonna be full time back into a normal routine. So I might as well take advantage of trying to get my ankle healed up because I really wanna run again. It's really a huge goal. It's a huge goal. Um, I can walk and I can function, but if I run, it is very painful. So I want that fixed. That's not okay. There's, there's people in all ages that can still run. So anyway, that's my story of the day, thought of the day, question of the day, and I hope that you take time to care for yourself and figure out what it is that you can do that will help heal you. Maybe there's some long-term aches or pains or notions or any of those kind of things. Um, you know, it's a good time to self-evaluate and reflect and clean things physically and literally and take a body assessment and see if there's something else that we want to add or maybe most likely there's things in this time that we've had that we want to subtract from our life, right? We've had our lives so packed in and so busy and now we're forced to slow down and realize what do we not want to add back in? Like I'm just totally jonesing to add back in the running, but maybe I don't need to add in everything I was doing before, if that makes sense. So have an awesome day. I'm gonna go get ready to zoom in birthday balloon and fish tank clean. I should show you my fish tank sometime. Not right now though, because it's dirty. <laughs> Y'all take care, bye-bye. Okay, I said that and then I felt guilty and I thought, you know, I should do a before and after because I'm gonna literally pull everything out and clean the gravel and then put all everything back in, maybe a little different configuration. So anyway, you can see maybe there is some definite buildup and some algae going on. There's the cute little, his name's Fraggle, cause he looks like Fraggle Rock. And then there's Parker Fish. He's also a bottom feeder. And, um, and that was red over there. Those are the three I see out. There's seven in the tank. So I'll show you the result when I'm done tomorrow. So here's the tank with the new setup. Took everything out, cleaned down in the rocks, replaced the water and chemically treated it. Now they're looking for their territory spots. So I think it looks better. Hey, it is Friday. I, this is technically my normal day off when I'm not on retreats and I'm supposed to be on mission trip as I've mentioned, but I'm not. So <laughs> our daughter comes today from her mom's. And so I may, I wasn't planning to go back to the store, but I got a white denim jacket from Transcend in my box last week. And I don't really want to spend a lot of money for white because I destroy white. You know, I, I love wearing white. I've bought a lot of white blouses. I'm not afraid to use a little bleach, but a denim jacket is a pretty good investment. I mean, that's not like $40 shirt, that's like 80 hundred dollars but there's one at Walmart for $19.99 by time and true which I like that brand but it you can't order it online it's all but it is in my local store 
So I thought, well, I can go try on the jacket even and pick up the things that Autumn loves to eat and um, I just have to take off my boot to drive. So I've been trying not to do that. But anyway, so I washed my hair last night and just let it dry natural overnight. So this is my natural frizzed out wavy state of my hair. So just wanted to show you what that looks like. Tomorrow is my haircut. And funny story, my son, who's 19, I uh, was having dinner with the family last night and he says, oh, I'm getting a haircut on Saturday. I said, you are, I'm getting a haircut Saturday. I said, what time? He said, 2.15 and my appointment's at two. I said, oh, that's awesome. We'll be getting our haircuts at the same time. I said, where did you book at? And he said, my salon. <laughs> and I was like, Parker, you can vlog, you can help vlog for me. You know, we can, <laughs> so he's like, no mom, no mom. He's always been the one that's been like, easy to embarrass you know like I am I have never been the cool mom for him never and um, you know if I just breathe too hard then he's like oh I'm so embarrassed I'm mortified <laughs> and he's still that way so we're gonna have a bit of fun hopefully um, you'll include a little footage of my son getting his hair cut on Saturday or you know he may warm up to the idea and um, it's hot today it's gonna be rainy most of next week, but this week here in Virginia, where I'm at anyway, it's very hot. So I'm wearing my new, uh, try to stand up a second here, my new Stitch Fix blouse. It is a little sheer, but I think it's summer fun. And I guess we're a week away from official summer, but I am just totally, I've been wearing my graphic tees all week, but I thought, mm, I need a break from that. I'm gonna put on my strapless bra, put on a, one of my cute flowy tanks, and um, you know, go with that this morning. That's what I'm feeling. So I had to take the dog to the vet yesterday. <sighs> That's just so stressful. You have to like wear a mask, wait in your car, they wear a mask, they come out, they you do things through with sanitize for whatever through the windows, they take your animal, you can't be with them, they're all nervous which you know you could help calm them down if you were allowed to go in, but you're not, of course. And then she had, it wasn't Lyme disease, but it was another similar, she got it from a tick. That was not good. They were worried about her platelets being down, had to get medicine, that was expensive. And we were just there to go rabies shopping. <laughs> That's how it is though. You take your car in, there's all this stuff. You didn't even know what was wrong with the car. And you don't, you don't know if you can trust people. You know, it's like, she doesn't act sick or the car is not acting up. Are you sure? Are you like kidding me? Do I really need to spend this? And there are certain dealerships or vets that you can trust more than others, right? But I'm honestly not sure about this vet because I had a falling out with my vet of um, 17 years. And then I didn't like the way they handled something, so I left. And I've only gone to this, this is only my second time to go to this vet. So I'm not sure about their reliability. But anyway, and at the end of the day, we have to trust people, right? We just have to make a judgment call and go with it. So I bought the medicine. She, I just stick it on a teeny, you know, dip the spoon in peanut butter and stick it in. And she just licks it right off and swallows it down. So I'm blessed that that's not an issue. So we'll have a three week course of medicine and she's got her shots. So we're good to go for at least a year. And uh, it's so funny, it's like that, that vet bill just cost me at least two Stitch Fix boxes. <laughs> it's like, it's like everything in my mind cost related is how many Stitch Fix boxes, which also by the way, if you are a Stitch Fix customer or whatever, or if you, particularly if you own stock in them, which I don't personally, but my my parents do they when they just heard about stitch fix and saw my video link that I sent them because they sent me a birthday gift that was a big gift card for stitch fix so I sent them the link they were so impressed by it they went out and bought a bunch of stock and um, the clothing company because of the virus that's been going on and all the quarantine and closed down clothing companies are down 80% 80% for the quarter, like their earnings, which makes sense, right? They weren't selling anything and then they had all these backlogs and issues and had to lay people off even. Stitch Fix is down 9%. So that is like 
monumental. And they had, you know, all the warehouse closings and shutdowns too. But I think I managed to get three boxes during the official complete shutdown. So anyway, if you're an investor looking, you could probably still jump it on because everything's kind of down because of the market, but it's going to go, that's going to be a worthy investment. <laughs> so maybe, maybe you know, <laughs> I'm like, I am like such a nerd. Like I like following, I don't, I don't own any stock anymore. You know, I've got my 401 portfolio that I don't manage. I just keep putting money in that. But um, I used to, in college, I was very into it. And so I was, you know, there's those ticker tapes along the bottom of the screen. And so I was watching ZY because it was the last one. And so I was just watching it. And how old was I at this point? I was in middle school and um, it was sixth or seventh grade and I'm watching it and I'm kind of noting it. I'm kind of following it along like I'm actually an investor. And ZY kept going up and it kept going up and it kept going up. And so I told my dad, I said, dad, this company's just doing really well. You know, I know you buy stock, you might want to think about it. And he was so impressed that I've been following it and charting it or whatever. So he bought me an honorary five shares. Well, the thing like went up 4% and then split and like continued to give dividends. And it was actually part of my college funding. So the company was there and I think it was like a pharmaceutical. I can't remember exactly what it was. I just know I followed it and made a little money off of it. Not substantial because there was only five shares. But anyway, that's one of my favorite little fun trivia facts or whatever. So if I had the money to invest, I would totally get the Stitch Fix stock. And I totally texted my dad this morning after I saw all the quarterly reports and said, Dad, you might want to buy more of this. And she's like, yep, doing pretty good investment. <laughs> so anyway, little, little chatty side notes. I'm going to go see if I manage to find and get the jacket. I might do a little film or show that. And I... Look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the weekend, and I will be vlogging my hair. I don't, I'll probably put the hair up before this vlog comes up. So, there, I can even link the card up in the little eye up in the corner. You can click it, and that will be my hair vlog. So, you will see at least five inches are gonna go. So, maybe more. We'll see how I feel. Y'all have an awesome day. Appreciate you sticking around, spend some time with me. I really do. Hey, I noticed my coffee chats are getting a little long, so I'm going to film what I got at Walmart and then get this ready to post in the morning. That way I'll have a video Friday and then I'll have my hair video on Saturday. So um, I'm trying to not get the blinding light from outside. So Kelsey, one of my followers and faithful commenters had recommended that I go to thrift stores or look for a cheaper white jacket. And um, Kayla also mentioned she got hers at Belk, I think. So I had these great suggestions not to pay the overpriced. And I went to the Walmart and they had the Time and True white jacket for $19.96. So there you go. Put it on. I'll put it on while we're having our little chat because so good sleeve length it's not quite as fitted and tailored as the cut from the cloth but it's also like one fourth the price and this is this is nice so I really like it great suggestion and the other thing that I couldn't resist look at this bag it's a tote bag it's got embroidered and you can see the little beads and then it's canvas and it's got a nice big bottom big bottom so I'm gonna use this as my summer work coat oh and it's got a it's hung up here on the but it's got a cute little tassel and this 1688 so huge let me show you the inside it's lined but zipper pouch and then it's just an open tote so it holds a laptop and all my folders so anyway I'm gonna use this for my summer work bag just to be fun
Oh, and then this was in the clearance bin. It's an extra large, so it's gonna be big on me, but I figure I can wear it with some capri. I have um, red and black capri leggings, but it's Cinco de Meow. Isn't it cute? $3, I know, y'all. I think I was in a spendy mood. And then I got my groceries. So, thank you for hanging out with me this week. I will start a new vlog tomorrow and do my hair one. And that will now go up after this video because I'm going to put this up on Friday. So stay tuned tomorrow for the hair vlog. Thanks. Peace.